Hello, I'm Jose with Free Sky North America. And in today's video, we're going to take a look at making a single momentary switch do multiple functions. So in this case, I have my MB339 turbine. This will be my first turbine that I've been setting up. And I made the back switch over here, the one that's behind a radio, uh, call out my airspeed when I press the button. Zero miles per hour. Now, if I press and hold for like, you know, under a second. Max airspeed, 36 miles per hour. And then if I press and hold for longer than that. 2.4 RSSI, 87 dB, 900 RSSI, 93 dB, 2.4 EFR, 95%, 900 EFR, 96%. So if I do a quick press, it'll tell me my current airspeed. So if I press and hold for longer, it'll tell me my maximum airspeed during that flight. And if I press and hold even longer, it'll tell me my 2.4900 RSSI and VFR values all the way through. So obviously that last one I'm not gonna use a lot. If I do notice a problem, I can just press it without looking down and I can get my VFR and RSSI information. So that was one momentary switch doing three different functions, depending on how long I press the switch. Okay, so next we're gonna go ahead and set up the logical switches and special functions to make that all work. Okay, so I created a new model file and I bound the receiver to it. I went ahead and off camera set up the airspeed sensor um, on FBUS and got that all set up. So the only thing I have to do now is this. So this is a bl blank model file, nothing else in it. But I want to go through the processes of um, setting up that switch. All right, so I'm going to go over to model. The first thing I'm going to do is go into telemetry. And I am going to find airspeed. There it is. And change it from knots to miles per hour just because it's a unit that I actually understand in the air. All right, so now that that's changed, we gotta decide what switch we're gonna use. So for this video, I'm gonna go ahead and use this switch to do this. And that way you guys can see it a little bit easier than the back buttons. So I'm gonna go over here, go over to logic switches, and we're gonna create some logical switches based on what I do with this switch. So add a new log logic switch. And the function that I want for the first one is going to be edge. And what this will be, might as well name it, is the instant press of that switch. I-N-S-T-A-N-T -T and space. Looks like I forgot the N. I'll go back and do that. And um, SW for switch. And I don't know if you guys are aware of this, but over here is my cursor control. So system, I'm going to back up to the area that I messed up over there. Press the center button to delete it and then type in my N and it'll insert it. Okay, so instant switch. The function that I want is edge and trigger on condition will be the switch. So switch in the up position. There it goes. And you'll notice that right now, because I have it set to edge, if I press this button, as soon as I release it, it'll activate. So I'll wait, 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 wait. And as soon as I release it, it activates. That is the type of switch that this is. This is an edge switch. So what I'm going to do, though, is change it to from 00 to 0.3. And this will be the instant pull of the switch. So if I just pull it and release it, the switch will activate. So you see LS1 over there? It's red. And then the switch activate turns green. If I press and hold longer, this switch will not do anything. And that's what we want. Press and hold does nothing. Okay. So this is what I want for the first switch, the instant. So when I instantly pull that switch, it'll go ahead and report that values. Okay, so this switch is created. I'm going to add a new one. 
in this list. So let's add one, add, and let's call this hold switch SW. And this will be another edge switch and change the value to say 0.4 to say, I don't know, 1.5, let's say. So one and a half seconds. So between 0.4, so when I release that switch between 0.4 and 1.5, it'll activate the switch. Oh, I forgot. Trigger on condition needs to be that switch. So I hold it up, pressing it, and then hit return to get out of it. So now let's check it. Instant, doesn't work. But if I press and hold longer, then it works. Okay, so that's done. Now we're going to make the next switch which is, so I backed out of the menu, hit enter and add. Let's name it, let's call this one long hold. SW. And the function that I want is going to be edge. And the trigger on condition is to switch. So I'm going to hold it up. And while I'm holding it up, return to get out of it. And during, and it'll be past 1.5. So let's call it 1.6. Okay, I'm gonna leave that alone. So now after the other functions work, this one will work. So 1.6, if I press and hold, it doesn't activate. If I press and hold for less than a second or less than 1.5 seconds, it doesn't do anything. But if I press and hold longer, as soon as I release a switch, it'll call out. So do you see that how that turned? And that'll turn green. There it goes. So there it is. So let's go back out to here and we'll take a look at all the switch functions. So let's do this. And you'll notice that these will um, go into highlight mode when they're activated. So the instant one is when I just tap the switch. There it is. The press the hold one will be between 0.4 seconds and 1.5. There it is. And the long hold is anything past 1.5. And then release, and then boom, it'll call it out. That's it. So all we gotta do now is the call outs. I'll go over to special functions. And let's go ahead and add a new special function. And this is how we create our, our audio cues. And Let's go ahead and play audio, enable it. Active condition is logical switch one, which is the instant one. So logic switch, instant switch. And come down here and now we add a new line in sequence. Play value, the source, will be telemetry and airspeed. So this one, the instant pull is the current airspeed. So if I tap this really quick, zero miles per hour. it'll tell me zero miles per hour. Now you got a choice if you want, you can turn on or turn off units. So if I turn off units, zero. it'll just tell me zero, it won't say miles per hour. But let's go ahead and turn that on, I think that's fine. So tap it, Zero miles per there hour. it is. Okay, the next one we're gonna do is maximum miles per hour. So in other words, in the flight, what is the maximum that the airspeed went to? So let's go ahead and create a new special function. So I back out of it, go over here, add a special function, play audio, enable, and active condition, always on. We're going to change that to be logic switch. And the logic switch that I want will be the one that I press and hold for uh, a bit of time. So that's the hold switch. And go over here to sequence. And 
Now, I'm going to do something. So I created um, um, a sound file, so play file. And I believe what I do at airspeed. There it is, A speed max. So now if I press and hold a little bit longer, it'll say max airspeed. Okay. So that's a custom sound file that I created. Um, you can choose another sound file if you want, or you can create your own like I did. And then add a new line and sequence. And here's the reason why this has this add a new line and sequence. Now I can go ahead and play value. Source will be telemetry, airspeed. So looks like go backwards, there it is, airspeed. Okay, so this right now is not maximum airspeed, it is current airspeed. But once I put it there and I go to it and press and hold, now you got a choice and it could be max. Zero miles per hour. And if I, okay, I'm going to back out of this so you can see. Now, in the sequence, I've got two files. The first one's play file, and it's my max airspeed file. And the second one is play value, which is the airspeed max. So if I press and hold longer. Max airspeed, zero miles per hour. There you go. Okay. And let's create a new special function. Press anywhere in here and hit add. Next, uh, we're going to do play audio. Enable it. Active condition will be that uh, logic switch, and it, it'll be that long hold one. And add a new line and sequence. So again, I created some custom sound files. I'll make these available to you guys, and I'll let you know where I make it available. I just don't have it up quite yet, but I will make these uh, custom audio files that I have av um, uh, available to you guys. So add a new line and sequence. Play file, and let's do RSSI first. So under R, should have gone backwards. A lot of them. RSSI 2.4. Okay. So it'll play file RSSI 2.4. The next thing that I want is add a new line of sequence, play value. And uh, what I want is telemetry. And the telemetry that I want will be RSSI 2.4. Okay. So now if I go ahead and press and hold and then release. 2.4 RSSI 100 dB. There you go. Okay. Let's add another one in this sequence. Add a line of sequence. Play file is correct. Let's do let's do the RSSIs first, then the VFRs. So this one is going to be RSSI nine hundred. Somewhere in here, there it is, RSSI nine hundred. And again, this is a custom file that I created. Add a new line of sequence, play file, we'll change that to play value, and then now we need the 900 RSSI, so telemetry, and then we'll look for RSSI 900, there it is. Okay, and then let's just check it, press and hold for a while, once I release. 2.4 RSSI. 100 dB, 900 RSSI, 100 dB. Okay, now let's do the VFRs. Add, play file. The files that I want will be under the Vs, so it should be quick and easy to find. VFR 2.4. Add a new line of sequence. So add, play value. Telemetry, and then we'll look for a VFR 2.4. There it is. And let's just continue. Add, 
and let's do play file and this is VFR 900 there it is add a new line of sequence play value and then we'll play the telemetry and look for VFR 900 there it is all right so there's two options for this right here. Let's just play it once and test it, make sure it works. And then release. 2.4 RSSI, 100 dB, 900 RSSI, 100 dB, 2.4 BFR, 100%, 900 BFR, 100%. Perfect. All right, so this is working, but what you may want is not current, but minimums. So. In your flight, but well, you should do a reset whole telemetry, um, like on a switch or something like that. Uh, so you reset it before you take off, so it's nothing on the ground. Um, if you do, if you set a reset whole telemetry for it, it'll reset all these values. And if you do that, it's good to change these to minimums. So play value over here at RSSI. We're going to go over here and edit it. And play value again, RSSI, hold it down, and now you can choose minimum. And then we'll go to the next one. So now it says minimum over there. Play value, RSSI 900, edit it, press and hold, choose minimum. So you can do current, but it's nice to know what the worst was in your flight, too. Edit. Minimum, and then 900, edit, press and hold, minimum. And then I'm just going to double check to make sure all these lines in the sequences are correct. RSSI 2.4, minimum, RSSI 900, minimum, uh, 2.4, BFR, minimum, and yeah, so we're all good. So let's just try it again. Press and hold for a while, and then release it. 2.4 RSSI. 99 dB, 900 RSSI, 92 dB, 2.4 BFR, 100%, 900 BFR, 98%. Perfect. Okay, so we know that works. So now we have three different functions on one momentary switch. First one, instant. Zero miles per hour. Next one, press and hold for a little bit longer. And then release. Max airspeed. There it is. Zero miles per hour. And press and hold for a long time. And then release. RSSI. 99 dB. 900 RSSI. 92 dB. 2.4 BFR. 100%. 900 BFR. 98%. So this is a nice way to set one switch to do multiple functions. And I like doing this because then it becomes the same switch I use all the time, and I don't have to remember, oh, yeah, well, VFR is on this switch, and RSSI is on this switch, and uh, my max airspeed is here, but the um, instant airspeed is on this switch. So you save switches, but it's also for muscle memory, you're just hitting one switch to do multiple functions, just hitting it in a different way. So um, that's it for this video. If you guys have any questions, feel free to comment in this video or send me an email. I do seem to get the emails a little bit easier. Um, sometimes I don't get no notifications for, um, you know, those comments in the videos, but I do try to answer them. Sometimes I end up answering them late. Anyways, that's it. Hopefully this was of help. Thank you very much and have a good day.